Hello, my dear darlings. We've got another doll to review, to look at, to open. Anyway, we've got one from Target today. Let's open it together. Fresh off the press. Oh, we have here. We've got David Bowie. Ah, mm. beautiful. Anyway. I think by now I know to go from the bottom and you walk your way up. I've learned from past unboxing how that could be a major faux pas and you destroy your box. So, you open from the bottom and you pull it right out. Yeah, am I doing all right? All right, we've got that. Huh. First of all, let me show you the back of the packaging to show you the inspiration. Yeah. There's the man of the hour. And then we've got the doll itself. There. Beautiful, isn't it? I mean, the Barbie is beautiful, but a lot of people were very disappointed. This really should have been a Kendall. And my understanding is Mattel thinks Kendalls don't sell well. Hmm. I think the Dollstagram would um, disagree. Um, Kendall's have been holding their own weight lately. I think most of you would agree. Um, this, um, perhaps, maybe the licensing was very expensive to have it as a Kendall. I think that might be the reason why, to be honest, because we're way past that um, level of thinking of, you know, back in the Stone Age of this will sell over this or not. Um, I think it boils down to licensing. And, and I mean, maybe we should all send an email to, um, um, is, um, you know, is um, surviving um, Kin, which would be his uh, wife, the beautiful one and only Iman. Um, you know, she's the one who is in charge of what's to be licensed or not. Perhaps that's who we should be bombarding with a we beg you please let's do Kendall but you know um um Kendall version of, of this lovely lovely icon um to be honest I actually got this doll because I want the suit um yeah I, I just think it's amazing so now we get to see the creme de la creme what's all what's all the the fancy stuff oh wow so there we go and there she you know we've got that Sort of a shimmering fabric, you know, perfect to uh, mix match with other, you know, wardrobe you might have for your dolls. And then we've got the shoe. I'm, I was I was thinking maybe this would be flat feet. Yeah, I was kind of right. See, I, I knew I called this already. I knew this would be a flat feet. Of course, my friends are like, no, I think it's high heels. Ah, it's a flat feet, and she looks like she's on a pivotal body. And there we go, we'll take that off. Well, I don't like undressing dolls, per se, but you get the idea. So it's it's a nice shirt. You can put this with any other. Um, the, and you've got the plastic protector there, you know, to protect it from bleeding. You've got that. And yeah, it's a nice shimmering um, fabric. This can work on any other doll or any other brand, I think. And a lovely tie, you know. <laughs> quite interesting let me see if it's elastic or uh no it's a real tie so it's not elastic you've got to take it out a bit if you want to take it over a head you have to you know loosen it up a little bit and you pull it over the doll's head and then you've got that so and this is velcro the shirt underneath there the closure it's velcro yeah see just like that that's a velcro closure and um the pants it's not the pants is a snap You've got snap there and the jacket you've got snap as well thank god for that um the body type is actually pivotal you've got pivotal body type there see bends the knees so you can't really do full-blown yoga she's not mtm <clears throat> she's just a pivotal body type and you've got the hand and the wrist and there and there and there and yeah she can't read. Oh, well, she can touch her face, yeah? So you've got that. It's not so bad. Oh, wait. Mine's coming off a bit. 
Do I push it in? Yeah, it's a bit weak, isn't it? Yeah, why is mine coming off? Look, it's practically coming off. That's weird. Oh my God, I've never seen that before. Is that possible? Mine just literally came off. I didn't know you could do that. That's interesting. Hmm. I hope mine is not defective because I'm just now finding this out. Anyway, it, it goes right back in. It's not so bad. Um, yeah, I didn't know you could actually take these things apart. I wish the wrist could come apart like that. Anyway, the hand, the, the hair, it's got lots of product in it. It's very starchy. So if you want to comb it out, do a mohawk or whatever, you've got to wash it off. It's very stiff to keep that styling place. I do intend to reroute mine, you know, and have a little fun with this. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. But I really wanted the suit and the, the outfit. It's really what made me acquire this piece. Um, yeah. So that's really all there is to it. Um, yep, I get what I wanted. Now let's pray it fits other dogs. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye, until next time.